So I'm actually shaky as fuck as you might be able to tell by the camera. Um, this day has been very long and very extreme in many kinds and ways, I guess. Um, I started off with my ex texting me, telling me weird stuff about his non-really existent sex life and with details like he he texted me like we hadn't co had contact in weeks with oh I was too lazy to leak your nudes by the way like yay like I don't give a fuck because you don't really you know we had a relationship three year in three years so um we I sent nudes and he not because no <laughs> He want, he asked me for them, so that's why I did it, and I did it first after a few years, so do whatever you please when it comes to that, but be careful with your pictures. Um, and you never really saw anything, because this girl can hide it, so yeah. So I was just like, I don't care, and then we talked about his non-existent sex life, and I asked why he don't tried to talk to his friends and then he told me that he did and stuff that was one thing and then was my fiance's grandma's dead yesterday so death day the second time already she's dead in two years that's what i tried to, to, to tell um and he got several panic attacks and stuff and he said she wouldn't like like we we got into a fight because I had panic attacks or panic attacks because I woke up at 3 at night and couldn't fall back, go and get back to sleep I think half past 2 or, or something like that um, and I have had nightmares and panic attacks all the, <laughs> the night long and I was shaky and stuff and I couldn't, I just couldn't take it, I couldn't handle it and he said oh it was, it was a, f a fail or it was I, I shouldn't have thought that you could handle it the day after like I don't know but he said it in not a mean way, but I don't know. I wasn't happy about it. Anyway, we got into a fight eventually, and then he made a short voice message where he literally just told me, yeah, don't bother with me anymore. No one has to bother with me anymore ever again. And I, I freaked out. And after an entire long of calls and stuff, because he isn't here and he isn't um, by his grandpa, he is at work. Um, stationary at a at a point um, around three to six hundred kilometers away from me and from his grandpa. So yeah, um, no one had his address because I forgot about it. And yeah, it wasn't fun. And now there's panic all around. And I went out for shopping day just a few moments ago, and I came back and I I had a panic attack again in the in the shop. And I thought like, oh, I had four or five panic attacks a day, yay, after waking up. That's what I, you know, you know, because I had several at night, but I don't count them at night, to be honest. But then I, I counted them like, oh, I had one then and two then and stuff. And it's, it has been around 11 hours that I'm awake now and I had nine fucking panic attacks and I have anxiety attacks all the time. Like, what the fuck? I just, I can't handle it anymore. Like, I, I haven't slept in so long. And it has been 10 months now that I couldn't really figure out how to sleep. And I slept for two to four hours the last four to five weeks. So each night, so at high peak. And I had nightmares and panic attacks. Like, I saw myself dying. And I saw myself at my wedding and... and not only that, I saw different things. I saw myself dying at my wedding. That, that's what I tried to explain. And yeah, it it isn't fun. Like I I I saw people being raped and killed by monsters, and I'm so fucking scared of the dark. I can't even tell you. Like I'm like a little kid. I'm I'm afraid that there will be a monster that comes and eat, tries to eat me. Like I I I wasn't ever afraid of death. I, I always wanted to die. Not always, but it has been, it has been 10 years now. 12 years. 12 years. And no, just no. 
Then I had to bother with people today that were just angry and randomly pissed at me because they couldn't figure out how to sleep for two weeks now and they were just like, oh, how stupid are you and stuff. And I was like, the fuck? I haven't slept in 10 months and I'm not as mean to anyone as you are. Like, I don't know. Maybe I am. I don't know. Maybe I will try to, to tell more about my nightmares in another clip, but I, I'm getting too upset right now. So I finished my day with around 1,100 calories, a little bit lower, I think. Um, I'm going to bed now. It's around 7 p.m., I think. Um, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to do the chocolate mono diet. And basically, there is so much shit going on in my life when I start to think about it. By the way, that's my sim that I'm creating right now. Um, the thing that I want to do is I, I just need to torture my body, I feel like. Just to cope with everything. Nobody could ever help me, and most of my therapists that I had, I had over 30, so yeah, they gave up on me. My therapist at the moment says I can't never recover fully, but I can learn to live with it and stuff, and I technically just want to go insane, just like... 95% or something. Just so much that I can live with that. I can easily live as a crazy person and I just give a shit about it. Especially when you do have a crazy partner like I have. Um, I just want to achieve madness, I think, by starving myself. 